Welcome into the Season 7 review of the Northamptonshire Career Mode, where we survived in County Championship Division 1 and we'll be able to hopefully build on that for the next season. Our limited overs form, like the 50 over and 20 over stuff, there's a lot to work on there. But without further ado, let's look at the domestic tables. As you guys saw in the previous episode, we res finished respectively in 7th. Uh, that is a fair reflection where we're at. Uh, Hampshire winning the title. Uh, of course, they've got Rashid Khan, Lewis Gregory. They've got a good team. Challenge trophy. Very disappointed with only the one win um, from seven games. At bowling, just didn't fire there whatsoever. Just a couple... Uh, I think five games of a team's got over 300 in that. That was just simply not good enough. Hampshire won that as well. Hampshire just shows you how good um, their recruitment and their... Um, talent that are coming through there and we finished last in uh the 20 over trophy we didn't play too badly i thought we bowled reasonably well it's just the batting uh let us down uh but uh, let's look at the player records now just going to analyze uh how well people perform the season and you'll see uh very shortly james vince uh top run scorer of the season average of 44.12 he was very good uh the experience there really counted for something. Anthony Thor, our second top run scorer, uh, average of 33.75, reasonable. Anderton, uh, not to his usual standard, but still a respectful season of average of 38.21 uh, for 917 runs. Rosenton was good again. Uh, Jax, uh, we, I bagged Jax a lot um, for not really performing. But an average of 34.47 with the bat and an average of 33 with the ball with 31 wickets and 586 runs is pretty good. Uh, one of the people of the season, really, Sam Curran, really rescued our season uh, in the county championship. Average of 50 uh, with the bat, average of 28 with the ball. Vasco Cielos was a wee bit disappointing with the bat this season. McCurr was surprisingly contributed that amount of runs. He was good with the wicket tally again. Cranshaw... Thomas and Gunson. Oh dear, how terrible they were this season. Just not consistent enough. But uh, you, you, we'll have to persist with a couple of them at least, if not all of them. Now for the wickets. Uh, Connor McCurr leads the wicket chart by a mile. Uh, exceptional bowler, uh, really. Uh, I just think he's really hostile. And he can really... Uh, Really get good amount of wickets and clumps. Marzabani, uh, very good again. And then the other bowlers sort of struggled a wee bit. Uh, but they did contribute uh, to a point. Uh, so now for the one day stuff. We'll go to the current year. The runs. Uh, Gunson, exceptional season. Uh, average of 46.22. 416 runs. Anderton just averaging over 50. He was pretty good again in the one-day format. And then it sort of slipped a wee bit after that. Like, batsman under, averaging under 30. That's not going to win you too many games of cricket, uh, to sum that up. And this is where it'll be a bit of a shock. Uh, we've only really got three good bowlers there. Marzabani, uh, 15 wickets and average 25. Uh, Topley, 12 wickets and average 28. Sam Curran played a few games for England. So you can't really count too much of his stats and then um, the rest of the bowlers uh, the next best average was 39 then 72, 74 67 from the part timer oh that's why we were last pretty much uh, the runs for the season wouldn't um, count Sam Curran too much because of his um, Indian Premier League uh, he played 16 games there Played a few uh, 2020s for England and played um, all the campaign for us. Did pretty well with the ball, I felt, um, for us in 20 over stuff. James Vince was good uh, in the 20 over stuff. He's probably my man in the season, actually, James Vince. Just led from the front. Uh, Anderton, uh, disappointing, uh, really. 298 runs, 22.92. I know he's better than that. And, yeah, nothing else from the rest of the batsmen there. They, it just shows you how much we've got to recruit. look at recruitment. And just improve in that area. So the bowling, the bowling I was pretty impressed with. Like Topley, Daniel, and Mirzabani were good. I thought Zayeb was quite good as well. Uh, very economical. He didn't get the wickets that he deserved, but he did um, try his um, darnness. So looking forward to season eight. 
obviously just want to keep cementing my place in uh, county championship division one at the moment we're just probably got to move on a few guys as i've talked about in the last couple of videos we're probably at the stage where we've still got a good amount of experience but we're going to probably uh have to get a few men averaging in the 40s if we are going to start pushing up that table but this is something to aspire to the rebuild uh slowly going to plan and uh but yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying the series anyway i've thoroughly enjoyed uh, making these videos i make them in um bulk uh, so i record seven or eight hours a day uh and just upload one um per um day um hopefully you're following it uh yeah give it a like comment subscribe and we'll see you for season eight we'll probably start somewhere on the challenge trophy maybe midway through it again but yeah for now we'll catch you later